think I heard you say something about the 60s. I like the sounds of that. <laughs> We're all over the place. It's like Mr. Toad's wild that. ride here as far <laughs> as temperatures is. lately. Yeah. So I'm going to take you back before I take you forward. And here's what it looked like 24 hours ago. This is our view when it was 10 degrees out at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science yesterday afternoon. Clouds still lifting the sky and the snow on the ground. Fast forward, dropped down to four below this morning. The high today was at 34, and you'll notice at sunset, all that snow had pretty much soaked in and a pretty sunset along the front range. So it's been kind of crazy. What about the next 24 hours? Well, the temperatures are not going to be nearly as cold tonight. In fact, they'll hold pretty much steady overnight. It may drop down the teens for a little while and bounce back up into the 20s, into the 30s by morning. And tomorrow, we'll be looking at readings getting up into the 50s. So quite a change indeed. Our headlines, not as cold tonight, warmer for the next few days, but then there is some snow coming our way for the weekend. Here's some of the numbers currently around the area. 20s to around 30 degrees in the metro and across the state. Some teens out of the eastern plains, 20s, I-25 quarter, 35 still out at Grand Junction. As far as the satellites, all quiet here. Just a few scattered high clouds showing up. That's about it. Next weather maker is this storm coming in on the west coast. That will not arrive here until Saturday into Sunday. Meanwhile, last weather maker is this cold front that brought us our chill and our snow. And look what it's doing to the eastern part of the country. From Houston all the way to Maine, Hard freeze warnings, winter storm warnings, gale warnings on the Great Lakes. Pretty nasty system out that way. But back here in Colorado, quiet weather conditions are expected here in the metro area. About 25 degrees, 9 o'clock in Parker, mid-20s, Englewood and Wheat Ridge. will drop to the teens in the early morning and then sunshine and be in the 20s tomorrow afternoon. So take it hour by hour. Watch what happens overnight. Our skies stay clear. The temperatures are not going to be as cold tonight, although they will still be pretty chilly up toward Greeley, the single digits by early morning. And then tomorrow, those numbers bounce back pretty nicely, getting back up into the 40s, even 50s expected in the afternoon hours. Across the state, we'll do 53 in Denver tomorrow, 40s to the north and to the east of us, 30s primarily in the mountains. Next weather maker will be coming our way, not Thursday, as warmer air comes before the storm. That holds for Friday as well, but I put a big old smile on that. That's for the skiers this weekend because it looks like a pretty good one coming up for the Colorado high country. Tonight at 17. And then for tomorrow, the high temperature expected to climb up to 53. On the extended forecast, you'll like it for the next couple of days. 60 coming up on Thursday, 65 on Friday. That Pacific storm arrives for the weekend, and that means snow developing Saturday. Heavy snow in the mountains over the weekend. We might see a few inches of snow here in the metro area as well, and a chilly high of only 32 coming up on Sunday. So the roller coaster continues.